What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka Solomon Grundy, the seventh sovereign. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I would like to talk about this album right here, Eternia and Moss, At Last. For those who have subscribed to me, y'all know how I feel about Eternia. She's one of my favorite fucking female MCs. Love her to death. Um, she's from Canada. What, what more can I say? She's been doing her thing for a few years now, making a name for herself, touring, putting out dope ass albums. Um, the only one that I do have at the moment is the one that came out, uh, what year was that? Was it 2005, I believe? It's called, um, It's Called Life. That's what the album's called, It's Called Life. And um, she put out um, a collection of all her uh, freestyles and um, you know she, she was featured on called where I've been which I don't have and then she put out another one called where I'm at the setup which unfortunately I don't have because her distribution in in fucking Canada sucks you know it, it used to be a CD baby but of course naturally when I wanted to go on there and get it I can't find it you know um, can't find this shit anywhere very hard to get um, I'm still searching for it so if anybody knows where I could get those two CDs let me know um, but anyway Eternia teamed up with a dope producer named Moss to put out this fucking banger um, Eternia is repping it for the ladies this year along with uh, my girl Dessa from Minneapolis from that uh, super collective known as Doomtree. Um, these two ladies, to me, they got it this year. They they just came, put their fucking heart into their fucking albums and produced. And who says female MCs aren't relevant? When you listen to this album, especially you fucking, you ladies out there trying to come up in the game, this is how you fucking rap, okay? Um, let me get into it. First of all, artwork. Love the artwork. I love on the inside, she gives a little story for each track, how it came to be, why she wrote this track, and this and that. I'm just going to breeze through it as usual. Um, album starts off strong with the intro, um, track two, Any Man, track three, 32 bars, fucking. Attorney is just rapping 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 with that passion you can just fucking feel like that's all I ask for you know you may notice that in my videos you know all I'm asking for is fucking passion a balance in your shit and this is why I, I, I love certain MCs or FEMCs um, track 4 featuring Joel Ortiz it's called It's Funny dope track you know Joel Ortiz one fourth of slaughterhouse right there so you know the track is gonna be straight fire um track five the barbecue featuring rod digger and the lady of rage i mean that name is perfect because microphones are getting roasted literally roasted with those three on a fucking track um track six past that um this song is basically you can hear in the chorus it's about passing the blame, you know, and I, I love that, you know, just straight conceptual shit, um, track seven to the past, is sort of like an interlude, you know, it's just a quick little thing, uh, let's see, uh, what else could I talk about, oh, track nine, played out, featuring Jessica Kaya, which is Eternia's sister, and, um, 
that's basically an, a song about um, heartbreak and relationships that she's been through that that has caused the heartbreak her being cheated on being fucked over you know usually I don't y'all know how I feel about basically since rap is mostly masculine y'all know how I feel about relationship type songs and chick songs but it came out really well and her sister was the finishing touch on that song which I fucking enjoyed uh, what else do I have to rave about on here um, to the futures track 10 uh, track 11 dear mr. Bacardi uh, dope con concept uh, I can't even talk I'm so fucking excited dope concept track about being hooked on um, alcohol and liquor you know her dependence on it and how I don't know if it's true or not but the, from the passion that she spits with on the microphone I'm, I'm believing that she had some trouble with this shit I don't know her personally um, but dope fucking track track 12 at last title track basically uh, is featuring Reef the Lost Cause and Terminology um, joke, uh, it's a dope showcase excuse me of their rhymes um, what else track 13 is day in the life featuring Tona and Maestro Fresh Wet which is a dope uh, story telling track which is basically a day in the life and um, track 14 is catch me which if you read the liner notes she um, basically calls it her anti superstar anthem and um, track 15 which is uh, her single and video called Goodbye Fucking Dope again listen to it and I caught that at the end the last verse uh, of Goodbye Nope You Don't Matter and um, guys go check out the video or go listen to that track to see what I'm talking about that line Nope You Don't Matter um, Love Eternia very personable a few years ago, if she's watching this, she's probably not even going to remember this shit, but when I was uh, big into fucking MySpace, when I, when I was one of those fucking assholes that couldn't live without MySpace, you know, that's when I really got into Eternia, and, um, you know, I messaged her back and forth, you know, she was contemplating moving to uh, Jersey, I don't know if she did, I don't even know if she remembers this story, but that's when I was hooked on her shit, you know, and after that I've been trying to get her shit but like I said I can't you know dope person to talk to you know um, she went out of her way to message me once or twice which I appreciate and that's all I gotta say oh fucking rating of the album I'm giving this album a 9 out of 10 there's not one track you can skip on this I fucking love this shit Moss dope producer um, hope to hear more from Eternia and that's all I gotta say. Go pick this shit up, guys. Dope female MC, dope producer, bringing you raw, real fucking hip hop. That's all I gotta say. Y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, bitches. Or motherfucking love.